Okay guys, what I thought we'd do today is a little Christmas ornament. Why not, right? It's like 100 degrees in Alabama. This, this is going to be our pattern for our ornament. And we're going to use very basic tools for this. We're not going to get crazy. We're not going to we're not going to get crazy. What we're going to do is we're going to use easy to find products. This is a half inch thick, three inch wide piece of basswood that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Here is the item number. That's the price. You get this in the back where the balsa wood uh, is, where you build like model uh, airplanes and, and that kind of, I, I don't know, maybe it's doll houses. I, I have no idea why that section's there, but it's all the way against the back wall. Then we have a quarter inch dowel rod, just a standard issue dowel rod. You can pick that up anywhere, but if you get it from Hobby Lobby, it's gonna be over there with the unfinished wood products. Things you're gonna need for this this little Irwin pull saw is a new addition to my setup. Um, I took a class with Mike Bailey at Tanny Hill Woodcarvers, and uh, he brought one of these, and uh, he made me a believer. And I will share that how how this is implemented with you guys here shortly. You're going to need a knife. These two tools are optional. These are optional. This is a V tool and this is a number 11 U gouge. These are recommended, but not necessary. Um, outside of that, in the way of safety, you're gonna need a Kevlar carving glove and some sort of finger protection for your thumb. Well, I don't, I don't wanna know. Nobody needs to get the bloody thumb award, okay? Um, uh, let's see what else what else what, oh you're gonna need a, a drill and a quarter inch drill bit to be able to drill the nose out to insert the dowel rod for the nose portion what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take carbon paper and I'm going to transfer this over I'm going to transfer this over onto this carbon paper off camera and I will get back with you shortly. All right, let me do this. Okay, so you're gonna need a straight edge of some kind, unless you have like just a super stellar steady hand. What we're gonna do is we're gonna mark the top of our blank with it. Okay. Mark the top of our blank. That's where we'll cut it off and free it from the other ones. Then what I'm going to do, and what I recommend you doing, is making a little line where the ball hits the hat. Come down here where the hat hits the face. Make another line. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go outside off camera and uh, I'm gonna use this saw to cut down to these lines first off. Oh, I'll tell you what, let's do one more right here where the, the hat brim and the, uh, the fabric meet, okay? We're gonna cut from the outside edge right up next to the base of our carving right here and that's going to help expedite removing all of this waste wood um yeah so let me let me run outside and do this and then i'll be back and we'll uh we'll move forward all right so i went outside and i cut this off and oh me okay so we're done with this done with this and see how I did? I cut right down to the edge of everything and then I cut it off. Uh, don't, that, that I should have been on that line. 
I'm going to tell you, there's a reason Mike Bailey recommends this saw. And it's because it's a pull saw only. It only cuts on the pull stroke. So as long as you line it up straight, she's going to cut straight. You don't have to worry with the forward cut and the pulling cut teeth getting you off of your mark. That was, that was clearly my fault. So what we're going to do, we're going to put our thumb protector on and our glove on. And we're going to start removing everything that's not within these lines. And the way we're going to do that, we're going to take our knife and we're just going to start eating it. Like, and don't, don't be afraid to go. Just, just go with it. Okay? It doesn't take very long at all. And then we're going to come in here. and use some precision wood splitting techniques. And just come in here and get this. Now I'm gonna turn this around and I gotta kinda hold it wonky and I'm gonna use what they call a push cut but I use like a pendulum push cut. I use my, my tip of my thumb as a fulcrum and I just like so. And then I just keep readjusting to my, my line I know, I know y'all can't see my line, and I, I apologize for that, but we just want to get it get it roughed in. Now, I'm only going to do this one side on camera, and then uh, I'll do the other side off camera, okay? I'm just going to... I'll, I'll show you what I'm doing. I know this is... This, this is... Well, I can do it this way. I know it's a bit awkward not to be able to see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, see what we got going there. I'm gonna take that little sharp point off, and we can we can afford to go a little deeper. There we go. Now up here on the the very top, uh, look, leave this second to the top one. Don't go in order one, two, three, four. And I have a very specific reason for that. When I was at the beach, I was doing a uh, one of Mike Bailey's. Christmas ornaments and I should have had my glove on I, I knew better. I honestly didn't think I had brought it with me so uh, I was sitting up there on the sand and uh, I had This in my hand This uh, a piece of wood similar to this in my hand and I had already Done all of this and you see see that see that boo-boo. Yeah, I'm not and I had my finger up this way, and I just wasn't thinking. I was just going with it. And the wood actually had a faulty spot in the grain up here on the ball. And this could happen anywhere. That's why I recommend the glove for the beginner. I mean, I've been doing this a long time. I still, I don't want to get cut. And, uh, but anyhow, it got into me. And boy, that whole trip, we was at the beach. Of course, there's salt water, like, Talking about rubbing salt in your wound, right? But uh, right here, we're gonna take it and we're just gonna come down. Take it, come down. And we're gonna do that all the way over to the very edge of this ball. And that's what we call precision wood splitting. And then on this one, I'm gonna get my thumb out of the way over here and I'm gonna pull towards me and I mean 